In this video, we are going to learn on how to draw the activity diagram for the topic hospital management system. So before watching this video, please do watch the video which I have attached in the description. Because in that video, I have thought about every single symbol that you have to use in the activity diagram. So how to draw the activity diagram? All the basics are there in that video. So after watching that video, you will get some idea about on how to draw the activity diagram after getting the basic idea if you watch this video you'll be able to understand it in a much better way anyways even in this video i'll be teaching from scratch only i'll make sure i explain every single step even in this video but here i'm doing it with the real life example hospital management system so what is the first step we learned about the symbol start. So always that is the first step. So you need to do the start because that is your first step. So please draw that here. So you need to draw a circle like this and you need to shade inside. So this is your first step. Okay. So this is your start. This is your first step. So after starting, what is the next step? You have to put a downward arrow. And then you need to write the first activity that is going to happen in hospital management system. So this is start. So what is the first activity that will happen in hospital management system? The patient will visit the hospital. Patient will visit the hospital. This is the first activity that is going to happen. So activity, you know, it must be written inside the rectangle which has circled corner. So this is the activity. Patient visits the hospital. Okay. After this, after the patient visiting the hospital, what is the next step? Next step is the doctor will be assigned to the patient. First, they will ask the patient for what is the problem. So, depending on the problem what they are facing, the doctor will be assigned to them. So, what is the next step? So, next step means you need to put a downward arrow because this is the first step. The next step means downward arrow. So, again draw like this. So, assign doctor. Doctor will be assigned. After this, what will happen? The doctor will suggest the treatment for the patient. So, the next step is suggesting the treatment for the patient. Suggesting the treatment. So, after this, after what is the treatment? After suggesting the treatment, the patient will get to know whether they need to get admitted or not. Because a doctor, after listening to what the, pa the patient is undergoing, the doctor sometimes will tell, you need to get admitted. Sometimes the doctor will tell, the medicines which I pres prescribe is more than enough for you to get cured. So, next you need to draw a decision. You need to take a decision. So what you have to write in this decision box. Need to admit. So whether you need to get admitted or not. So two things are possible. Sometimes a doctor will say yes you need to get admitted. Sometimes no need to get admitted. You can just take these medicines. It's more than enough for you to feel better feel okay so this side it is going to be yes you have to get admitted and this side it is going to be no you need not get admitted if yes you need to get admitted what are the steps yes you have to get admitted means what are the steps check the Room availability because if you have to admit room availability should be the room should be available in order to allocate it to the 
patient in order to get admitted. So check room availability. So after checking the room availability, what is the next step? This is when the patient has to get admitted. When the patient has to get admitted, what are the steps? Check room availability. After that, allocate the room to the patient. You need to allocate the room to the patient. So after this step, sometimes if you just get admitted and if the medicines are given while you are getting admit, like while, while you are being admitted, it is more than enough for you to feel better, get cured, okay. But sometimes they will tell that operation has to be done. We need to operate in order to make you better. If we don't operate, you won't feel fine. So, in some cases, draw the decision again. Need to operate. So, this side it is no. No need to operate. Sometimes they will say yes. You have to get operated. So, sometimes the doctor will say no need. The patient doesn't need to undergo an operation for this. Some, in some cases, you have to get operated. So, yes. Okay. So, yes, you need to get operated. Means, doctor should be assigned for that. So, assign doctor if you have to get operated. Next, operation theater must be assigned. So, assign operation Theater. Next operation needs to be performed. So perform operation. So if the patient has to be operated, if it is yes, a doctor must be assigned to the patient, then operation theater should also be assigned to the patient. Next, the operation should be performed to the patient. Now, no need to get operated. No operation is needed for this patient. Means what will happen? Doctor will give treatment to the patient. Doctor will give the treatment to the patient. Next, after giving treatment, now you have to decide is to get discharge or not. No or yes. For example, is to discharge. Yes, the patient can get discharged. Means what is the next step? Prepare the bill and give it to the patient. After you give the bill, what will happen? Make payment. You need to make payment. This is when you can get discharged. And the last step is what? Stop. Stop means you have to draw one circle and inside you need to put one dot like this. This is the stop symbol. So, is to discharge. If the patient can get discharged means they will prepare the bill and give it to the patient. Then the patient needs to make the payment and then lastly, you are stopping this activity. So, you need to put this stop symbol. For example, is to discharge? No. You are not supposed to get discharged means what? This arrow should go again back to this because if you are not allowed to get discharged then again treatment should be given properly to the patient. So the arrow should go back to give treatment only. Next here we saw need to admit. No need to get admitted means where you have to go. No need to get admitted at all. Means you need to go from here to Prepare bill step. Okay. Because no need to admit means directly the bill will be prepared and given to you. You need to make payment. Get admitted means all these steps should happen. Next perform operation. After performing operation what is the next step? The arrow should go back to giving treatment. Because after performing operation treatment will be given. Okay. So this is the final diagram of the hospital management system. 
So this is the start symbol. Then patient is visiting the hospital. Then the patient will tell what problem he or she is facing. After listening to the problem, the doctor will be assigned to the patient. Next, the doctor will suggest the treatment for the patient to get cured. Sometimes the doctor will tell, this is little serious, so you need to get admitted. Sometimes the doctor will tell, you need not get admitted. Just with the medicines which I am prescribing, you will be fine. So need to get admitted means yes. No need to get admitted means directly what will happen. They will prepare the bill and give it to you. You just have to make the payment and you can end the process and you can leave home. No, you need to get admitted means the hospital. In the hospital, they need to check the room availability because the room should be available for the patient to go and get admitted. Next, after checking the availability, they will allocate the room to the patient. Next, the doctor will say whether the patient needs to get operated or need not get operated. So now, no need to get operated means the doctor will give treatment to the patient. And then after effective treatment, the patient can get discharged. If yes, the patient can get discharged means the bill will be prepared and given to the patient. They can make the payment end the process and they can leave. For example, yes, operation has to be done means the doctor should be assigned. Who has to do the operation? The doctor should be assigned. Next, operation theater should be assigned. The place where operation has to take place. Next, operation should be performed by the doctor. After all these happens, what will happen? The next step is the treatment will be given to the patient. Okay? Next, the patient can get discharged. So, the bill will be given to them and payment they have to make and they can end the process. Now, sometimes you are not allowed to discharge because you are not fine even now. Then what happens? Again, you have to go back to the step, give treatment. Proper treatment should be given again till the patient feels better. Okay, so this is the entire flow of the activity diagram for the topic hospital management system. So don't forget to put this start symbol and this stop symbol. Very important. So if you like this video, please like, subscribe and share it with your friends. If you have any doubts, you can ask in the comments section. I have also uploaded videos for use case diagram, for class diagram and sequence diagram. You can also watch those diagrams. Thank you so much.